Ah, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. He's going straight under that damn boat, man. Damn mate, there's a crane coming. Have you got bow? So there's your angled ones. Well, this is going to be Naughty Joe's home for the next week. It's a lot of stone to lift. Naughty Jade, naughty pleasures. We're going for a little morning fish. I wasn't going to go anywhere, but you know the deal. Uh, just going down to our little local spot. I want to get some more bait. Um, I have been working again, so I'm pretty tired, but I've just got to get out for a few hours. I think we're going to have rain this weekend. So, set up, just grab some gear, and we're out of it. I'm going to keep stockpiling this bait again. We're going to use it um, either going up the Hawkesbury, down the coast, or wherever in between at some point. So bear with me. If I keep going to the same spots in the meantime, it's all for a reason. So I'm just sharing the, uh, the experience. Let's do it, baby. Let's get in here. One meter and a half. That's it, brother. Let's see how nah, it goes, brother. It's time to get bait. Good morning. I know you're going to bring me luck already. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> Come 
jump for you. <laughs> I'm more than happy. Right, we're heading towards the bottom of the tide this morning. We made it at the end of the spot. I'm just looking at the boat. A lot of water in it this time. <laughs> I'll give you a quick look. I don't know how much energy as much of a mad live bait tank as it is. Oh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know how much bailing I've got left in these bones to keep bailing water and water out of this thing. I'll give you a look. Oh, the boat's drifted under the tree this time. It's probably three quarters full of water. We'll sort it out. We'll get it sorted. Before we bailed out that boat, let's um... Someone's been down here. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, before we get the uh, luxury vessel out. Sits nicely on the waterline though, even though it is full of water. Anyway, I'm not going to play around. I'm going to go out to the bigger of the islands this morning. And um... I should have the wind coming behind me, so I'm gonna flick out to the right hand side of the island. Yeah, the old girl is uh, definitely a capacity this morning. Pull all this out, make it easier. Surprisingly, didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna be. Probably three minutes. All right, get these ready. Fill up the water quicker than expected. <laughs> we can go out here. All right. Looking good. Pull this thing up. Straight away. Yeah, we've still got some nice gas from last time. Let's see if I can find my custom uh, brick to hold this thing down. Get that under real quick. It's gonna work. Nearly there. A couple of goodies and we're done. Said it before, we're at the pretty much nearly at the bottom end of the tide, and we're going to fish the start of the incoming tide. Then we're going to get out of here because I've got lawns to mow, housework to do, never stop. Small tools to prepare for next week, and it's probably going to be raining tomorrow, so just wanted to make the most of the morning. One bait out anyway while we're um, setting up the rest of the other gear. Poseidon, as always, left us off the side. I'm not going to run any snell uh, hooks today, we'll just go single hooks and um, a bit over half a metre trace. Oh. 
I'll just bring the big salt taker with me everywhere now. I don't care. The, the day that it does go off, it's just easier to get these damn fish in, especially if they're sharks. See now that wind's picking up behind us, it's helping us cast. We've also seen a lot of little flatty, uh, lots of flatty imprints around this island on this morning too. Which is a good little sign. Keep looking back and watching the um, the small rod with the real light line, the little cube on it. Now, if the wind's playing with it, we're a fish. I don't know if you could hear that on the phone. I could just hear someone on the horn hard, and in not so nice language, they told some cyclists to get off the road. I could hear the screams from here and I'm in the middle of the mangroves. <laughs> I'd rather, if I can, try and flick for bait over the back of that boat. That's what we might do, actually. We're going to move up there. It's just the wind's coming across sideways. It makes it a little bit more difficult. so far. This is um, I'm probably just on the slack of the tide now. So uh, as soon as the change is over, hopefully the bait comes on, the bike comes on, and we get on. this morning. Just look at heaps of pickers down there. Yeah. It's about bloody time. This bait's turned up. I've just caught a big mullet, a nice mullet. We're going to throw him out as a livey. And there's been garfish coming in too. Oh yeah. Now we do it. Let's get it out. Come on, one meter flatty, sneaky kingy out of nowhere. They give us that two meter pike eel. I know it could be in here. Muller King's back, baby. I got three lot. Sorry, I got three mullet, one guy, and another mullet out on the on the live boat right over there. So if I can stockpile a bunch of mullet all day, I'll be pretty happy with that. Plus. I uh, yes, some fish. I made big promises this morning. Yeah, man, I get go every day. So I better get something and uh, take it back. Uh, well, that's a good line. 
Oh, I'd be sorry. We might, uh, we're going to whack this on that end rod, the little rod. Let's go up and wind this thing in. Yeah, that's a perfect lovey. That is perfect. There's a little morsel. It's going to be great. That little curve. I'm gonna turn the camera off so we get them on. The main thing is we're getting them. I'll show you the hole. Don't worry. Oh, the garfish have finally turned up and they're, they're big ones. Just got them, I think, two or three and lost one. So if I can get a few more of them, that'll, that'll do us and I can hold my head high and deliver some fish to a friend. Good guy. That's a that's a proper eating guy there. Oh, yeah. Sorry guys, a mullet. What am I talking about? An idiot. That was a big bit of a uh, dead guy. Just pick one more bit of that out and then back to the boat quick. <laughs> so that thing here just ran twice before I clued out what was going on. That's it, another one done. Uh, the wind's picked up. I could probably still get a few more gar, but we've filled the plate up. We've done pretty good. Five or six gar, five or six mullets, something like that. Um, it's gonna start packing up the gear. And, and we lost a fish on the run as well, uh, over there, so. What, what can you do? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pack it up. I'll show you the haul before we go. And then I gotta go and deliver this. Uh, fish to it, my mate in the shop there. Alright, let's, uh, let's see a bit of a hole. Maybe we'll do this on me. All in all, in the end, we did pretty damn good. Bunch of mullet, bunch of gar. So, my mate and his family should have a nice little little feast now. Get that. They're going crazy. Right, it's us. Another mission completed. 
see you on the next one.